Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody and welcome to the Japanese class once again. Well, we have been doing a lot of things. We have been learning new forms, new ways of talking in Japanese, new expressions, a lot of uh, kanji characters. Now today also we will do something new. We will learn another new form in Japanese and of course a few kanji characters, a few expressions, a kotowaza proverb and of course a lot of vocabulary. So well before that as we always do let us go over our assignments and see what we have done. So well the first assignment that I gave you was match the kanji characters with the pictures below. So there are a few pictures here for you and there were a number of kanji characters below the pictures you had to match them. So look at this picture and see well there is a man sitting under a tree. So what does it look like? It is Yasumi and of course the reading is not given you have to recognize from the picture and the kanji characters. Then we have Hairu there is a tree stem or a branch and something over here another branch coming out or joining in Hairu. Then we have the moon Tsuki or Getsuyobi no Getsu. Then we have just the key, ki which is tree, a hand Te. Then we have the sun and the associated meaning with the sun is De so nichi and this looks like ashi to me which is feet and this is he you can see over here he or as you know kayobi kayobi no ka so this was your kanji practice well you please write down the hiragana or the readings for it in hiragana and not in roman and practice your hiragana like that. Well this was given this was hito similar to hairu and this was put there for you to find out which one is actually the correct one. Now we have a few fill in the blanks here with words given below. So well there were a few words for you and we will see what the words are. Watashi wa kyonen no rokugatsu ni after time expression ni ryoko o shimashita. Okaasan to otousan mo isho datta kara isho deshita plain form datta kara because they were together. Tottemo very degree of something tottemo exceptionally very tanoshikatta this tanoshii past tense tanoshikatta I was very very happy. Ryoshin to isho ni iro iro na omoshiroi tokoro o mimashita Ryoshin is parents polite for otosan okasan is Ryoshin and polite for someone's parents is go ryoshin. We did this polite word go last time go jyusho. So well another go example is go ryoshin. To isho ni iro iro na omoshiroi tokoro o mimashita. Tokoro is place ryoko no toki tenki mo yokatta kara nan demo dekimashita. Ii deshita. I have done this with you in class. E is good 
and past tense for e is yokatta, nandemo, anything, deki mashita, I was able to do it. Tatoeba, for example, yama nobori o shimashita, yama nobori is climbing mountains o shimashita, bijutsukan e ikimashita, bijutsukan is museum, takusan oishi France Riori mo tabemashita. So shite ishukan go ni. After ishukan. Ni again time. Tokyo e kairi mashita. You can also use modori mashita over here, which also means to return because you are already living in this place and you are returning to this place. Then watashi wa mai toshi every year, mai nen or mai toshi, kazoku to issho ni, kazoku to or kazoku to issho ni, ryoko o shitai, I want to do, kanai mo so omoi mas or so omotte imas, she also thinks like this. Now there are a few things over here which we need to do, so very quickly. I will do with you on the board. The first one is dash no toki. Toki means at that time. For example, gakko no toki. Gakko no toki, when I was in school. Daigaku no toki. Daigaku no toki, when I was in the university. So, you can use toki like this or kodomo no toki, kodomo no toki when I was a child. So, you can use toki like this very, very freely. Then you have tatoeba, tatoeba we have already done once means for example, then you have taksan over here which is takusan, takusan means I have I think done it once in class earlier, but once again for you takusan means amount something that can be counted, that can be measured and means lots and yoku again means lots, but yoku cannot be counted cannot be measured, it is degree of something, but cannot be measured, cannot be seen. Then what do we have, kairimashita I just told you, modorimas can also be used, then maitoshi is every year and then we have something over here, so omote imas, which I will do a little later, because that is what we plan to do today. Now there is some more kanji practice for you. Write the opposites for the kanji characters given below. Takai, yasui, kuroi, shiroi, iku, kuru or kimas. Then mai which is front, ushiro, gogo, afternoon, gozen, morning and atarashi furui. So well, this was kanji for you. Write the hiragana once again for all the characters given here, it will help you. You can practice your hiragana like that. And this was, these are two kanji characters, just put there for you to find out which one is actually the correct one. Then we have fill in the blank spaces with appropriate interrogative words and particles. So well the first one is nomimono wa aishite ga ii desu ka, kocha ga ii desu ka. Then kaeru mai ni watashi no heya ni kite kudasai, kaeru mai ni before returning please come to my room. Then 
旅行はどこがいいですかラオさん、どんな家具、家具はフォーニチュール、どんな家具を買いたいですかラオさんはもうこたつを買いましたかもう、we did more last time, more means already. So, Rao san, you have already bought a kotatsu. Kotatsu is a low lying center table, very, very, very liked by the Japanese. So, they all have a kotatsu at home. Then, kondo no yasumi ni doko ka e ikimashou ka. Doko ka is somewhere. Then, sha wa mada desu ne, not yet. And mo rokuji desu ka? Already rokuji desu ka? So we have one more over here, mada, which means not yet, and mo means mo with a long sound means already. Mo rokuji desu ka? Mo jikan desu ka? It's already six o'clock. Oh, is is it time now? For whatever activity. Mo jikan desu ka? And mo kaimashita ka? Have you already bought it? And iie mada desu. Or hai so desu. I have bought it. So you can use mo and mada like this. Then change verb forms and fill in the blank spaces. So well, let us see. Shumatsu ni konsato o mini ikimasen ka? So, miru is given over here, change this form to, to see. So, mi ni ikimasen ka for the purpose of. Then, kanji ga muzukashikute, cannot read, yome nai. Tanaka san wa kaisha o tsumori. Now, what does tsumori take? Tsumori takes a plain verb. So, yamemasu, yameru tsumori desu. Intend to leave. Kono hon wa omoshiroi kara yomu is the plain form. Please read. Yonde kudasai. Then, Rao san wa kagu o bot kai mashita. Kondo no yasumi ni party o let's do shimasho. Then, watashi wa mainichi basu de don't want to go. Ikitaku nai. Mou jikan desu. Hayaku ikimashou. Already it is time. Let's go very, very quickly. Then, onaka ippai desu kara mou cannot eat. Taberare masen. Onaka is stomach, ippai is lots to eat. Thus, thus, I cannot eat any more. Mo taberare masen. Cannot eat any more. Then, watashi wa isha ni nari tai. I want to become a doctor. So, this is some of your change the forms, verb forms. Practice these. Now, there is a small radio dialogue for you. Just listen to the dialogue and then I will do the explanations. Rao san wa ima doko desu ka? Watashi wa ima Delhi ni sundeimasu. Delhi wa Indo no shuto desu ne? Ah, so desu. Delhi wa donna machi desu ka? Kirei de ooki na machi desu. Delhi to Tokyo to dochira ga ooki desu ka? Yoku wakara nai kedo Tokyo no hou ga デリより大きいと思います。じゃあ、デリと東京とどちらが古いですか。デリの方が東京よりもっと古いかもしれません。Well, I'll read it out once to you, and then let me see how much you have understood. タナカ and ラオ。タナカさんとラオさんの会話です。会話 is conversation, as you know. ラオさんは今どこですか。私は今デリに住んでいます
Deri is Delhi. Deri ni sundeimasu. I am living in Delhi. Deri wa Indo no shuto desu ne. So desu. Deri wa donna machi desu ka? Kirei de ooki na machi desu. Ooki na. So you will notice that ooki, ooki, ooki is an I adjective, but sometimes na is also used with oki, oki na and also we have another adjective which is chi sai, chi sa na, chi sa na is used. So, these two adjectives do take na after them sometimes. As you can see over here, kirei de oki na machi desu. Deri to Tokyo to dochira ga oki desu ka? We did this last time. Deri to Tokyo to dochira ga oki desu ka? Yoku wakaranai ke do. Yoku again, you know, I do not know much about this, lots about this, but Tokyo no hou ga deri yori oki to omoimasu. I think that Tokyo is larger than Delhi. Ja, deri to Tokyo to dochira ga furui desu ka? So desu ne. You could also add this in your uh, kaiwa. So desu ne. When you actually want some time to think. Deri no hou ga Tokyo yori motto furui kamoshiremasen. I am not sure, but Delhi could be more older than Tokyo. Kamoshiremasen. And to omoimasu is what we are going to do today. So please concentrate on those two things. Well, this is in your script. There are a few kanjis from here which we will do. For example, machi, Tokyo, and a few others, omoimasu. And this is translation in English. So, well, you can go over it. Now, what we have to do is to omoimasu. You can see what is written over here. To omoimasu indicates the opinion of the speaker and translates to I think that I thought that. In English, it is preceded by verb in plain form, adjectives and nouns. And there are a lot of examples given over here. For example, the first one is hon wa, hon wa omo shiroi to Omoimas. I think, it means I think that the book is interesting. Hon wa omo shiroku nai to omoimas. Simple. Hon wa omoshiroi. You understand this. Hon wa omoshiroi. This, that the hon is interesting, 100 percent sure that the book is very, very interesting. But if you say hon wa omoshiroi to omoimasu, I think that the book is interesting, then you are not 100 percent sure definitely. So, this comes to about 80 percent, 85 percent, 75 percent, whichever way you want to take it, that you are not very sure, but yes, to a great extent. You can say that the book is interesting. So, well, hon wa omoshiroi to omoimasu. And if you want to say omoshiroku nai, so if you say hon wa omoshiroku nai, omoshiroku nai desu, 100%. I did not find the book interesting. Now, if you say hon wa omoshiroku nai to omoimasu, so you are just softening your statement also and not saying directly that I did not like the book, omoshiroku nai to omoimasu. I think that the book is not that interesting. Well, then you have genki. Ko 
どもは元気です。子供は元気です。Exactly like this. な、adjective. 子供は元気です。Or, 元気だと思います。I think he is in good health. Or, 子供は元気じゃありません。元気じゃないと思います。I think he is not in good health. So, well, what can you notice now from here? One thing is very clear that whatever comes before to omoimas will always be in plain form. Omoimas means to. Think, I think so, I thought so, and to over here is a particle which shows whatever is being said over here is actually quoted. So, it is more of a quotation particle used with omoimas and a number of other verbs as well. So, well, you have genki and I adjective over here. And then you have verbs over here, you can see exactly like this hon o yomi mas. I will read the book or I am about to read the book. Hon o yomu to omoimas. Again, in plain form. And over here, yoma. Nai to omoi mas. You can see it very, very clearly. I will write it once again for you, all of you, and remove all the extra part. You can see over here yomu and yoma nai. Yomu and yoma nai. Yoma nai to omoi mas. Yomu to omoi mas. Omoshiroi to omoi mas. Omoshiroku nai to omoimas. Genki da to omoimas. Genki janai to omoimas. So you can see very, very clearly that to omoimas will always take plain form for I adjective, na adjective, and verbs. Then You can practice here. There is a small conversation. Rao san wa jimushitsu ni imasu ka? Iru to omoimas. Or, inai to omoimas. I think he is present and I think he is not present. Now, you can replace jimushitsu with hon. Rao san wa hon o yomimashita ka? Yonda to omoimas and yomanakatta to omoimas. I think he has read, I think he has not read. Rao san wa tegami o kakimashita ka? Kaita to omoimas. Kakanakatta to omoimas. I think he has written, I think he has not written. Or you could also say over here, Kodomo wa tegami o kakimashita ka? Kaita to omoimas. Kakanakatta to omoimas. Rao san, kamera o kaimas ka? Kau to omoimas. Kawanai to omoimas. I will buy, I think. I think I will not buy. Or, Rao san, ashita kaisha e ikimas ka? Hai, iku to omoimas. I think I will go. Iie, ikanai to omoimas. I don't think I will go. Rao san wa shumatsu ni watashi no uchi e kimasu ka? Tabun kuru to omoimas yo. Maybe he will come. Or, tabun konai to omoimas. Maybe he will 
not come. So, you can practice to omoimas in this manner and use it very, very freely because it helps you in conversation and telling something for which you may not be very sure. For example, you can see over here what does this show? This is a kyoshitsu. Kore wa kyoshitsu desu ne? Sensei ga ima hairimashita. Soshite seito tachi wa ima swatte imasu. Ima nanji desu ka? Kuji desu. Klasu wa nanji ni hajimarimasu ka? Minna hanashite masu yo ne ima. Kuji desu kara klasu wa kuji ni hajimaru to omoimasu. You can see it is in plain form. Then again we have another class. Sensei wa ima oshiete imasu. A, i, u, e, o ima kokuban ni ne kaite arimasu kara mite kudasai minasan. Soshite seito tachi wa sensei no koto o kiite masu. Ima juji han desu. Klasu wa nanji ni owarimasu ka? Juji han ni owaru to omoi masu. His friend is telling him Juji han ni owaru to omoimasu. So, you can practice omoimasu like this. Now, as I told you a little while ago, particle to is used with omoimasu, is also used with imasu. And this is similar to direct and indirect speech, though in Japanese it is not very clear what is direct and what is indirect. Just by adding to before imashita, automatically what comes before to is in quotes. Please remember that and as with omoimasu or to omoimasu, before to imashita also the verb is in plain form as you can see from the example over here. Rao san wa eiga wa omoshiroi to imashita. He was saying that the picture is interesting. Rao san wa eiga wa omoshiroku nai to imashita. He said that the picture was not interesting. Oka san wa genki desu or genki da. To imashita. He said that okasan was genki. Okasan wa genki janai to imashita. He said that okasan is not in good health, in good shape. Okasan wa genki datta to imashita. He said that his mother was in good health or genki janakatta to imashita. Now, with verbs as well, Rao san wa eiga o mini iku to imashita. Rao san was saying that he will go to see the film. Rao san wa eiga o mini ikanai to imashita. He said that he will not go and see the film. So, this is how to imashita is used in a similar manner as to omoimas is used which we saw just now. And then there is another way of using to imas. Now, what is that? Let us see very quickly. Now, you can practice this. Well, Rao san to you hito o shitte imasu ka? It is a small conversation. Then I will tell you how it is to be done. Rao san to you hito o shitte imasu ka? Hai. Watashi no tomodachi desu yo. Dou shite kikimasu ka? Why are you asking? Nani ka arimashita ka? Did something happen? Is there a problem? Kono aida the other day, kaigi de atta toki ni kare wa anata o shitte iru to itte imashita. So, there are a lot of things over here. To i ma shita. He said that or he was saying that or he said eiga 
はおもしろいと言いました。映画はおもしろいと言いました。Now we have a different, this is direct and indirect speech in quotes, but we have something very different over here. Rao san toyu hito o shitte imasu ka? Rao san toyu hito. Rao san to you hito. This is not to imashita. To you hito is person who is called Rao san, is what it means. Person hito who is called Rao san. This person do you know? Shitte imasu ka? Hai, watashi no tomodachi desu yo. どうして聞きますか Why are you asking? この間 That day The other day 会議で会った時に We did 時 earlier 子供の時子供の時 Or 学生の時会った時に Ni, meaning when I met him. Atta toki ni. Tabeta toki ni. When I had it. Itta toki ni. When I went. So, ta past tense plus toki ni. At that time. So, at that specific time when a certain activity happened. Verb in past form plus Toki ni. Kaigi de atta toki ni. The other day when I met him at the meeting, kare is he wa anata o shitte iru to itte imashita. He was saying that he knows you. So, well, there are a lot of things here. Hashi to you mono. Hashi to you mono. Thing, a thing, mono is a thing. Thing, which is called hashi or ohashi. Ohashi is chopsticks. Hashi to you mono de tabe mas. So, mono which is called hashi, one eats with that. Then, empitsu to you mono de kakimas. Empitsu to you mono de kakimas. Mono, a thing which is called empitsu. Sore de kaki mas. So, this is how you would use toyu mono. Kanji toyu mono wa muzukashi desu. Kanji toyu, this thing which is kanji is a little difficult. Now, there was a word over there, kamoshire masen. Kamoshire masen. Now, please remember that kamoshire masen is in the negative. There is only one form for kamoshire masen, which is this, which is in the negative, but it has nothing to do with the negative at all. It means 50 percent the work is going to be done. Okay? For example, if you say, Ashita watashi wa ikimasu. Watashi wa ashita ikimasu. When you say this, then this is 100 percent that you will go. Or watashi wa ashita ikimasen. I will not go. Watashi wa Ashita iku to omoi mas to omoi mas. Watashi wa ashita iku to omoi mas. I think I will go tomorrow. So I am not very sure, like here, that I will go. I think that I will go. Watashi wa 
Ashita ika nai. Negative. To omoimasu. I think I will not go tomorrow. So, I am again not very sure. But over here I am 100 percent sure. Now, if I say watashi wa ashita iku kamo shiremasen. Kamo shiremasen. Then I may or may not go tomorrow. Watashi wa ashita iku kamo shiremasen. Or ikanai kamo shiremasen. Is I may go tomorrow or I may not go tomorrow with iku and ikanai. So, again kamo shiremasen will take plain form of the verb 1 and 2. If you say iku kamo shiremasen, then kanose of going is more, possibility of going is more and if you say ikanai kamo shiremasen, then possibility of not going is more. That is the only difference over here. Kamo shiremasen is not in the negative. Please remember that. You can see over here it is written shows that there is only a 50 percent possibility of the action denoted by the verb. May do, may not do. You can practice over here. To you, which we did just now. What does this look like? This looks like a trumpet. Kore wa nan to you mono desu ka? What is this thing over here? What is it called? Nan to you mono. Now, trumpet to to you mono desu. This mono is a trumpet. Is called a trumpetto is called a trumpet or you could also say kore wa nan to yu mono desu ka a direct answer trumpetto desu also you could also ask and you have done it earlier in one of our lessons kore wa nihongo de nan to imasu ka you have done kore wa nihongo de nan desu ka now a better way of doing it is Kore wa nihongo de nan to imasu ka, which you did just now. Or kore wa nan to yu mono desu ka. A much better way of asking. Trumpetto to imasu. You can also answer as trumpetto desu or trumpetto to imasu. Now, you know what this is? This is a strawberry. So, well, kore wa nan to yu kodamono desu ka? Ichigo to yu kodamono desu. Ichigo to yu to imasu. It is called ichigo. This kodamono, this fruit is called ichigo. Ichigo desu, a direct answer. So, well, you can practice like this to omoimasu, to imashita, to imasu, to yu mono, nan to yu mono desu ka. We did this earlier, nihongo de nan desu ka. Over here you can ask in a better way, nihongo de nan to imasu ka or nihongo de nan to yu mono desu ka. Now we have katakana over here as we have been doing this is the da series da, ji, zu, de and do. But what you have to remember is that in hiragana this and this is not used. It is da, ji, zu, de and do. This is what is used. Though it is given over here, da, ji, zu, de and do. And of course, in katakana, da, ji, zu, de and do. 
all these syllables are used. This is your da series clearly given for you, you can practice. Now, there are a lot of kanjis today for you, but very simple kanjis, we will do them very, very quickly. There is this kanji of sumu, which is to live. So, well, very simple 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, su and mu, sumu is to live. Please once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, sumu. So, it is a 7 stroke character, you can see over here, it is a 7 stroke character. Then we have omo, we did omo just now, omoimas. so well. You have done this one, you remember doing this one, this is kuchi and what does this look like? This is to which is 10, jiu, so you combine the two, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and you have this over here, this means o mo omoi must to think. This is a 9 stroke character as you can see very clearly. Then we have machi, of course, over here. Machi is again similar to omo, this character is similar and then we have a j over here. Very, very simple, a little longish and j. So, well, this is machi, this is a 7 stroke character and then we have in the end over here furui, simple you have done ju which is 10 and then you have also done kuchi which is mouth. So, well furui, furui, furui means old and please remember hito is not furui, things are furui. So, hon wa furui des and not hito wa furui des. Then we have done seasons earlier, if you remember we did harunatsu, aki and fuyu. So, today we will do higashi, kita, nishi and minami. So, the first one you have done with, we have done earlier with uh, Tokyo with this word Tokyo earlier in class. So, very, very quickly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, this is Higashi. Once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, Higashi. Now, you remember doing this which is shi meaning 4. So, well a little similar to this, not exactly same, but well 1, 2, 3, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, this is nishi means west. Then we have kita which is even simpler 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This looks like 7 does not it? Roku and shichi. So, well 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is Kita. And then we have in the end Minami. Remember doing this Ju. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you have the sign of Yen. Of course, this is not the way I am repeating it again and again. Please, this is not the way to learn Japanese at all. But because time is short and there are a lot of things to do, it is not possible to do. Um, kanji characters the way they are supposed to be done, 
so well. We'll do them very, very quickly as words once again from the beginning 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Higashi, Nishi, Kita and then we have Minami for you. There are other readings also. Higashi is To, Nishi is Zai, then Kita is Ho and Minami is Nan. You can see over here and all the stroke order is given. You can practice it. very interesting kotowaza which we all should do and it does tell about the Japanese people as well. Well, what does this look like? There is this old lady banging into something and about to fall and then we have korobanu saki no tsue, korobanu saki no tsue, korobu is to fall. Saki is ahead or earlier, Tsue is the stick. So, what does it look like now? Can you tell me? Well, it is very, very simple. You can see over here, use a walking stick lest you fall down. So, what does it mean now? Can you tell me? Literal meaning, literal translation of this kotowaza of this proverb is that use a walking stick when you are walking in case you fall down, but it has a very, very deep meaning that prevention is better than cure. Well, we all know in all cultures it is taught to be prepared for any eventuality, to be prepared for what is coming rather than actually falling sick and then treating yourself. So, one has to be prepared, one has to be, one has to be intelligent enough, prudent enough to understand that it is always better to do things beforehand. One should not wait for something to happen. For that, we have to work beforehand, prepare ourselves beforehand and then work. Well, the first kanji over here is korobu which means to fall, saki means earlier, before or ahead and tsue means walking stick or this bow or stick over here. So, this old lady is all prepared, set that in case she stumbles on something, steps on something, she has the stick to support her. Prevention is better than cure. Now, we have a small expression here. You can see two people talking very nicely, chirpily over here and what are they saying? Rao san, shibaraku desu ne. Shibaraku is an expression which says, meaning meeting you after a long time and the ladies say sashiburi. Sashiburi, sashiburi, the ladies say sashiburi. So, please shibaraku is male speech, rao san shibaraku desu ne, meeting you after a long time. So, desu ne, tanaka san, genki and genki desu ka is not used, genki with a rising intonation. Then we have um, mm, genki yo informal, genki yo rao san no Rombun hapyo wa dou datta? How was your thesis presentation? He is inquiring. Yokatta to omou yo? Again informal. Yokatta to omoimas is not being used. Yokatta to omou yo? Tanaka san, saikin isogashi desu ne. You seem to be very busy these days. Saikin isogashi desu ne. A very, very common greeting I would say in Japan, nobody says that you are free, 
it looks as if you are very, very busy. So, being busy is not something bad. In fact, sitting at home idle or not doing anything is considered actually quite bad in Japan. So, everybody is very conscious of this fact and they all work and they do not mind that they are busy. More the work, the better it is. So, that is how the Japanese people think. So, well, saiki ni isogashi desu ne. Chotto ne. Chotto ne is very, very Japanese where you do not want to talk about your work, but you just say yes, that is that's right and you just leave it at that. And again, ah so, I see. So, this is expressions and conversation. Now, you have your vocabulary over here. Kimochi and kibun almost mean the same. Guai is condition, general condition of health. Raku is easy. Benri, convenient to use or to move about. Chuka is Chinese food or cuisine. Then uh, tsugi is next. Kondo is next time. Kono aida, the other day or that day, particular day. Aida is in between or interval or space. So, you can use these in sentences, make sentences. And then, now my work is over. Your work begins now. You have to do your assignments at home. There is not much because already you have to do a lot of lot of things today that you have learnt. So, well there is kanji practice. Again kanji with hiragana readings and then you have some grammar which you have to do. Please fill in the blanks with words given here. These are the words you have to fill in the blanks and then you have one more change the words into proper forms and make meaningful sentences. So, the verbs are given over here, words are given over here. You have to change them and match with what is given outside the brackets. So, please do that and with this I will finish for today. So, minasan kyo wa kore de owarimasu. Mata kondo aimashou. Hai arigato. So, well thank you very much and see you again next time.